welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. Today we are going to be learning to measure items length in centimetres and millimetres if you're in year three. You might have seen some of these before. This is a metre stick that we use to measure the length or the height of taller things or longer things, but we're not going to be using this one today. We are going to be using a ruler. Now, if you don't have a ruler at home, it's absolutely fine because the worksheets that I'll provide you with have rulers on there. But this is a ruler and lots of you have seen it, especially in my class, because we underline our date and our titles with them. And we're going to learn to use them to measure in centimetres. So when we're measuring the length of something, we're measuring how long it is. So I've got some items up here that you might measure the length of. You might measure the length of an ant. You might measure the length of your throw. If you throw a javelin or a discus, how long that throw was, where it landed. You might measure the length of a table or the length of a bridge. So measuring the length is measuring how long that item is. So we can measure length in non-standard units, maybe a number of hands. So if I was going to measure the length of this carpet, I might do it in hands, maybe it's 10 hands in length. You could do it in the length of pencils, maybe it's 20 pencils length. In dice, in feet, in lots of different ways, using paper clips. These are called non-standard units. And then we've got standard units. So we've got centimetres, millimetres, metres, and kilometres. So we know that millimetres are the smallest, then our centimetres, our metres, and our kilometres. And today we're going to be focusing on centimetres and millimetres. Really important. Now, if we're in class now, I might say, right, here are a list of items. Please can you go and measure them using our rulers or our metre sticks? But we don't have that at home and you might not have a ruler either. So that's why today we're going to skip through this bit. Now, if you have got a ruler at home, that's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use that ruler to measure the length of items that you've got around your home. It could be a book, it could be a length of a table or your bed, any of those things. Maybe even the length of your garden that you've got outside. So your ruler should look like this and there's two different sides. So we don't want the millimetres, which are on the bottom of my one, we want centimetres. And it will say C and M right at the front. Hopefully you can see that right at the top. So that's our centimetre side. We want that side when we're measuring. We need to make sure that we align the ruler up correctly. So when we're measuring, we start at where it says zero. Now on your ruler, it might not say zero, it might just say C and M. That's where you start. So it's the big line down here at the beginning of the ruler. We don't do it all the way from the beginning of the ruler because you can see here, there's a little blank edge. We need to start it right on that first black line, which is zero centimetres. And we line it up. A wall is usually 30 centimetres long, so you're only really going to be able to measure things easily if they're 30 centimetres or less. If it was longer, then you'd need another ruler to add on and another ruler, and it gets quite complicated. Obviously, if it's above 100 centimetres, we know that that's a metre, so then you'd be using your metre stick instead. So, we have to make sure that it's the right way around on our centimetres. We need to make sure it starts at the zero. So here's a piece of string here. You can see on mine it says centimetres. Oh, maybe a bit bigger. It says centimetres right here. So I need to make sure that my ribbon starts on this line here. And it does. And then it says centimetres so I can go across and go right in and then I can read how long it is. So it finishes on this black line here and that is 12 centimetres. So we put the number 12 and then a C and M on the end. I'm just going to change that colour just so you can see it because for some reason on my board the green doesn't come up very well. So that would be 12 centimetres. The length of that piece of string would be 12 centimetres. And you can see that I've got it right there. It's really important as well, the thing that you're measuring has to be out straight. We know that a piece of string can ravel round and it can get knotted up. And then if you measure the length of it by not stretching it out, it won't be its actual length. The item needs to be stretched out properly, just like my piece of string here. And the CM is short for centimetres, and that's the unit that we're measuring it in. So let's have a look at 
at this one, this crayon, how many centimetres in length would this crayon be? It's starting up at the zero, or the CM, and we're going along and we're seeing what number it finishes at, and my arrow says seven. So again, we would write the length of the crayon is seven centimetres, seven CM. You can see that there. What would the length? of this be? So I've got a hammer here, I've elongated it out to make it a bit longer. Again, you can see it's starting on the centimetre, really important right at the beginning. It's stretched down and it's all the way to number 14, which means it's 14 centimetres in length. What would the length of the scissors be? So again, we're starting at the zero, we're going all the way across to the end of the blade, because that's going to be the length of it, and it goes to the number 19. So the scissors are 19 centimetres in length. Now, I've done something wrong here. See if you can spot what I've done wrong. I've tried to measure this lovely pen. So see if you can figure out what I've done wrong. I think that this pen is 17 centimetres long. So see if you can spot what this baby's done wrong, have a really close look and then we'll see whether I can explain it for you. So, what a lot of children, or a lot of you might be thinking is, oh Miss Bailey, no, you have got it wrong, it's right, it is 17, because look, at the end of this pen it stops on 17, that would make it 17 centimetres, wouldn't it? No, 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 because does my pen start from the zero? It does not. So my pen is not 17 centimetres in length because it doesn't start from the zero. So I need to try now to see whether I can figure out what the real length of the pen is. And the way we do that is we have a look at what it started from. So it started from two. So what I need to do is I need to take away two centimetres from 17 centimetres because it finishes on 17 but I know that that's not correct because it didn't start from the zero it started from the two so it, the actual real length of it is two centimetres less than 17 centimetres so we do 17 take away two centimetres and we get 15 centimetres so the real length of the pen is 15 centimetres long there are lots of questions where children will put the items not starting from the zero and then they mix up actually what the length is. So if you get one like that, you can say, no, Miss Bailey, you're wrong. It's not 17 centimetres long because you didn't start from the zero. It's actually 15 centimetres long. And we can also count that. So if you didn't want to do the subtraction, you could count from two. So let me find a different colour, purple. Here's my two. Oh, sorry guys, and you can jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And you get exactly the same amount. So I've done fifteen jumps from two centimetres to seventeen centimetres. So I know its true length is fifteen centimetres. So that's it for my year twos, your worksheet I've already sent you and you can see now whether you can use my rulers that I've got on the page to figure out what the lengths of each of the strings are. Now if you're in year three, yours is slightly harder today because it's too easy for you to read off from the centimetre mark point, you need to go above that. So on my ruler you can see my centimetres, so if I put my I'm up here. And these are these really long black marks on the ruler. What, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're the centimetres. Now, in between each of the centimetres are ten smaller black marks. And these are called millimetres. So, each millimetre is one-tenth of a centimetre. So that means that 10 millimetres makes one centimetre. And I can show you that now. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten millimetres makes one centimetre. So we need to have a look at this pen. It's starting at zero, which is fantastic. That's what we need. And we're going to have a look at what the length of it is. So if we go all the way to here, it ends on this line in the middle. So it's halfway between four centimetres, which is this big black line here, and five centimetres. Now what a lot of children will then do is they'll say, oh, it's four centimetres, Miss Bailey, that's what it measures. Or, oh no, it's five centimetres because it's near to the five. It's not. We need to work out how many centimetres, full centimetres it is, and how many millimetres it is. So we do this by looking at the mark. So I've done zero, one, two, three, four. So if I get rid of these, so I don't confuse you, four. Now we haven't gone past the five, so I know it is four centimetres long, but that's not the whole of it. Now we need to figure out how many millimetres it is, and that's how many of those little black marks past that four centimetres it is. So, one, two, three, four, five. So the length of it is four centimetres, five millimetres long. Now some people represent this as 4.5 centimetres. And you could also represent this in millimetres. Because if 10 millimetres make one centimetre, I need to times 4.5 by 10 to convert it into millimetres. And the way I do that is I move the decimal point over this side to the right and it becomes 45, oh, nearly put centimetres there, 45 millimetres. So if I get rid of this one, you can see it. So it was 4.5 centimetres and I times that by 10 the decimal point moves to the right and we get 45 millimetres. So 10 times the number of centimetres is millimetres. So I can see on here I've got 4 centimetres and 5 millimetres. Let's see if we can do this one now. So again, I'm looking, I'm double checking that it started from the zero. It has, so that's five. And I'm counting the full centimetres. So one two, three, four, five. So I know it's going to be five centimetres long. And then remember I'm counting the marks past the five centimetres to find out the millimetres. So one, two, three. So it'd be five centimetres and three millimetres long. I can write that in centimetres as five point and it's how many of those little marks we've gone past. So it's one, two, three. And as millimetres, I can move the decimal point to the right and it becomes 53 millimetres in length. Oh, let's try the paint this time. So we're going all the way to this one here. Again, Find out how many centimetres it is first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven this time. So it's seven centimetres. And then we need to find out the millimetres. So how many of those little marks is it past the seven? One, two, three, four, five. Seven centimetres and five millimetres. Again, I can write that in centimetres as 7.5. And as millimetres, times that by 10, 75. See whether you can figure out whether this one's right or not. Miss Bailey says that this is six centimetres and one millimetre long. So the paint is six centimetres and one millimetre long. Is she correct? Have a little look. See whether you can spot what's wrong. So, like on the year two example, 
What a lot of children will look at is, oh, it's 6.6 centimetres and then it's one mark, so it must be six centimetres and one millimetre long. But it's not, because it doesn't start from the zero. So I need to figure out actually what the length is. And I can do that two ways. I can subtract two, because I've started at the two. So I can do 6.1, subtract 2. And I do 1, subtract nothing, is still the 1. 6, subtract the 2, is 4. Oh, sorry guys. So 6, subtract the 2, is 4. So it would be 4.1 centimetres, or 4 centimetres and 1 millimetre, or I can count like I did before. So we start at two, one, two, three, four, and one dot, which would be 4.1, or four centimetres and one millimetre. Again, if I wanted to transfer that into millimetres, I just times it by 10, okay? I'm just moving the decimal point because all of the place value numbers move up one because we're times it by 10. So that one moves to the right, and it would become 41 millimetres, just like that. So see whether you can have a turn now, if you're in year three, measuring the things that I've given you on your worksheets, making sure that you're doing the correct centimetres and the correct millimetres.